Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Malachite in Princess of Darkness. And last episode was a pretty rough first episode. We started as a vassal and we kind of want to be a vassal because uh, we're surrounded by some really strong people. But the problem is our liege got conquered and while it was being conquered all of our provinces was... Uh, well they were sieged so now our control is zero in both of these so that's a bit of a problem. And we're independent now, so we're basically just sitting around and waiting to be conquered unless we swear fealty to someone. And between episodes I've had a, had a think, and I think Sea of, sea of Shadows is the best option. Now there is some drawbacks in doing the Sea of Shadows. First of all, he's really strong, and he's probably gonna get a little bit stronger, so it's gonna be harder to fight for independence and stuff and also um, while we while we will swear fealty to Montano I don't think we'll be a vassal of um, Alfonso of Venice which means uh, we can't really like um, conquer any of these counties without him intervening and defending because well He's not my liege, but he is probably the strongest in the area, so he is great defense for us. We probably won't be conquered from the outside, but he can still conquer us. But I think, I don't think he will because he doesn't have a claim on us and he, it's not in his du jour duchies or anything like that. So I think we're pretty fine there. And... Um, We'll be safe for quite a quite a while, so we're basically just gonna we're gonna make a bunch of babies, so we can uh, marry them off and get a bunch of of alliances and start conquering around us, and then we're gonna try to conquer this guy, and we might still be a vassal of Montana at that point, but we'll see. This is long term, so a lot of stuff can happen, like my plans during last episode was crushed pretty quickly so yeah so we're gonna swear fealty to Montano and there are some upsides to swearing fealty because we do have our control problem and oh I just realized we're not lowering control which we should do but since we are now a vassal we can also petition our liege and I know there is one that is really good for us right now. Um, we don't care about being on the council. Don't care about that. Uh, transfer claim. We could do that because we do have a claim on... Uh, I forget what is the name of it, but... What used to be uh, our leech's realm. But I think that's the... Um, like, Venice guy now. And if we... We are, if we are granted the claim, or the title, I think he's just gonna take it back. So <laughs> I think we're just gonna lose... We lose more than we gain from it. But send, send bailiffs is kind of what I'm after, because we'll get a bunch of control. And uh, like we can get a bunch of negative uh, opinion and stuff, because he's mad that we're asking, but hopefully not. But it seems to be fine. I am escorted to Lord Montano's throne room, where he beckons me for me to approach and address him. I carefully describe the problems of my fiefdom faces, resistant to my authority and be beset by vagabonds, and request assistance in restoring order. After listening to the speech, he smiles warmly at me, states, Absolutely, vassal. I shall dispatch my agents immediately to take care of this matter. Hey, he's a very... a very friendly liege. So, we get uh, plus 10 control in all of our, well, both of our counties. We get some opinion, and, um, well, we don't care about renown, really. But we also get royal bailiffs, which lose some pop popular opinion, but we get extra growth. So, thank you, my liege. That is excellent. That is exactly what we wanted. And we're up to 17, and we're increasing by almost one each month. So, well, like... A couple of years and this is fine. Like eight years? Nine? I don't know. Not gonna do math. Oh, right. 
we're gonna make a bunch of uh, of babies. So let's see what kind of humans we have. Um, we have you're a human, but you're. Why are you my spy master? Seriously, you're my spy master. Yeah, okay. She, we still have absolute shit spy masters. <laughs> well, we have absolute shit a lot of things, but all of our humans are kind of bad. You're just gonna make revenants, hopefully, and you're gonna become a ghoul probably. So let's just go and find some mortals. Let's find. Uh, we don't. Do we want prowess people or do we want some scoundrels or? Merchants or because they could end up on our council Since we're making babies Maybe scoundrels to get a better spy master Actually, let's do clergymen because we have a lot of piety So that's something we can actually spend although we don't need a clergyman actually um, <laughs> Let's Let's go for a scoundrel see what we lose We pay in piety. That's fine. So, let's see what we get. New blood. Already better than, <laughs> than our spy master. 8, 6, 11. And he's a man. Which uh, doesn't really matter. <laughs> I don't know why I even said it. But we're going to embrace him. And I guess we can feed on you. There we go. We eat one and... Oh, we should have hurtified another. But that's fine. We're just gonna let some time pass. Too good to be true. The patriarch of an influence, influential family in your area has just passed. His legacy lives on through his two sons. It just so happens that you have a strong hold on, on one of them. If you were to help this young man take over the family business, you may stand to reap the benefits. But your strange patronage would certainly raise eyebrows. Okay. So, 75% chance of masquerade exposure will decrease, or we will be exposed a little bit, but that's a guaranteed prestige and money. And I do want prestige and money, so let's go for that. We're not in any danger of the masquerade, so let's finish one of these. Okay. So, let's... It's good. good thing we have a lot of piety, because uh, we are going to spend a lot of it. We're gonna make at least two of these. And you are... We're not gonna spend a bunch of, uh, a bunch of piety to... For feeding, so... This is fine. Actually... Um, grab this one. Because we just want the resonance, basically, because we actually got filled up from uh, siring. An education. We'll let him figure it out on his own, I guess. Oh, what's wrong with your face? <laughs> I know Nosferatus get, get uh, messed up, but looks like... Like, did I just... Did I bite your face off <laughs> while making you a vampire? We'll let him figure it out by his own. And also, I forgot we have one of these skill points. So, uh, we're currently doing Obfuscate. And I kind of like having some bonus to our scheme powers. Because that will let us scheme in general. Because right now we don't, we're not very good at it. But that doesn't mean we, sh c we can't become good at it. Resistance, I don't care. We're a lowly count. I don't think that there's that many hostile schemes and stuff. So let's do the murder and abduct just in case we want to do any of those. And what else am I doing? Right, I was going to do the masquerade exposure thing. A slow child. Your progeny has tr uh, trouble with vast amounts of new information he has to learn. The clans, the history of the canine race, the myths. It seems to be too much. If you don't do something... And soon, your child will probably give up, which might be a hindrance to his initiation into the night. Oh, that's no good. Isolated for a year. 
Oh. Okay, well, it's just for a year, so let's do that. It's not ideal, but hey, it's what we have to do. So let's cover up some masquerade. We'll spend money probably. Yeah, because we don't want to get wounded. And we get a bunch of stress. So money will do. We are going to start making a lot more of it. Oh, right. Ah, also. <laughs> um, could do this, but that's not what I had in mind. Which one is it? This one. Open rule. I think this is great for us. We get control growth, we get prestige, and it only costs prestige. So we're going to get that there, and we're going to get it over here as well. So let's see, open rule is right there. Control growth and prestige for the cost of prestige. That's going to pay for itself and give us a bunch more control. And it's getting there at least, but... We are positive on income again, which is very good. A matter of faith. So far your child has followed your faith almost because... Mostly because you said so. Uh, obviously though, he is far from understanding the inner workings of the beast and how to deal with it. You will have to make some, take some time to start this part of the teaching or hire some learned practitioner of the road to help your progeny along. Okay. Gaining a bunch of piety for the cost of stress is well worth it. Because every 500 piety we have is a new child. And I don't want to pay a bunch of... That is the only downside. This has upside. So let's go with that. An education. Tempted by the heavens. Your child always needed something to believe in during his mortal days. As such, you aren't overly surprised that he la lashed, lashed on via... Si Salis, as his road of predic uh, predilection. What you weren't expecting, though, is the sheer fervor he's shown so far. You aren't moved by many things nowadays, but perhaps a pure, pure show of devotion can be one of those few things. I am what I am. And no, we are definitely sticking with our faith because, well, that is kind of half our character. We, we are the heir to, of Michael. The Archangel. So, we are getting a bunch of piety. And does he change? No. Good. I want him to have the same as us. A presentation. Behave yourself in there. Which is fine. And a friendly vassal. One of your vassals really took a liking to your child during the presentation. Genuine or politically minded, it doesn't really matter as long as it keeps the peace in your realm. You join them as, as they are talking heartily to each other. I'm glad they're getting along. Ooh, prestige though. They don't need to have friends. Prestige. Excellent. So, that was one child. Shall we get another one? Uh, let's have a quick look if we have any good guests. <laughs> that is an absolutely garbage guest. Oh, he has a vampire face though. Neat. Uh, human, human. Pretty garbage. I mean, he's not... Entirely horrible, but pretty bad. And what do we want, though? He's not half bad at fighting now. That's good. We are going to find a spouse for him. Let's find an alliance. And who are you? Where do you live? Over there in um, Tripolitana. And you don't have a leash are you just gonna get eaten probably you need more allies um maybe not oh that is too far away how about you oh you're this quickly turned into garbage so i guess this is fine and you get a bunch of prestige so he is still stronger than us. Oh, actually, he he's much stronger than he... Well, not much. He has more levies than it looked like. So, yeah, he is actually pretty alright. So, that is one alliance done. Let's find another mortal. So, we don't want to spend extra piety because we need that to make children. 
Maybe a warrior? We have a pretty good amount of prestige. Let's find a warrior. An education, the end. You have done what you could. Your child has learned the ways of your condition, the methods to use to control the beast, and even how to approach the clans the, and their subtleties and blah blah blah. We've read this a bunch of times. New blood. Garbage, 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 garbage. Okay, I guess he is the least garbage. He will get better stats, and his other stats aren't the worst. So, hey, how would you like to be a Nosferatu? You, you really want to be? Hey, that's excellent. Glad to hear it. I would love to make you... Oh, that is... Uh... Huh. Oh, because my diplomacy tanked from being isolated, I guess. That's that's no good. So... Oh, he looks like the guy I'm making my child right now. But yeah, hunt this guy. He looks like... He looks like a phlegmatic guy, doesn't he? So, there we go. A marriage of convenience. Uh, what was I thinking? I was thinking something. Um, whatever. I'll figure it out. Oh, right. Let's... Can we drink from our herd? Oh! Now we can do this. We can do this last time. Um... So let's, we only need to take a sip really, because we only want him for his resonance. That sounds, sounds like we're using him, but we wouldn't do that. But yeah, let's do that. How long are we, are we, st we're still isolated, right? Yeah, until f October, so not long. Good. So let's see what this got. Because we want to see... Oh, that's Embrace, wait. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what kind of choleric? We are melancholic. Right, so... We'll just take a little bit then. That's fine. Oh, he's, he's big, he lost his beard. <laughs> well, I guess that makes sense. But he doesn't look too bad. Well, for a Nosferatu that, that is. I mean, he doesn't look good, but that's a good prowess, though. Excellent. So, let's um, let him figure it out. He can be pretty... Lately, you haven't been able to take care of your child much. You hope that this newfound freedom would result in some interesting insight. Uh, Kyriakos could discover on his own, but not quite. Still resenting you for being turned into a vampire and making him so damn handsome. This un unruly neonate has started publicly doubting your authority, not answering to your rare summons. This could escalate quickly if we don't stop this. Um, yeah, we don't want him to be a rival, and I guess we get isolated again. Well, it's just a year. Again. Man, we just spend most of our time in isolation. I guess I guess that's just life. Ooh, we can get two, uh, 200 more piety, which means another child. Gotta get Gotta build this family up. So far, your child has followed your faith, mostly because you said so, and we have this. So we're gonna have to do some stress relief. Maybe we should start yoga or something. Is there a vampire yoga class somewhere? Hmm. Should look look up where we can do some vampire yoga. Your child has, has shown some a serious interest into matters of rulership, and interesting and interesting that has made him. An interest that has made him so far conclude that might makes right. While you don't necessarily agree, you must admit that you have already picked up some interesting insights by his way of doing things. Perhaps encouraging him to continue would yield further experience. Maybe. Oh, he would convert to via Tyrannus. We would get a steward stewardship lifestyle perk. What would we put in there? Man, payment for hook, meh. Collect taxes efficiency. Is, I mean, I guess not horrible. 5% isn't much. Claim throne scheme against your liege. That is something that could be really good for us, actually. Oh, mm, that that's not bad. 
via Tyrannus is a stray. So... Do we have anyone in court? How much of a... Let's see, is anyone a via Tyrannus? How much is a stray gonna... Okay, you're a stray and you, you're... Yeah, you don't care really about me being a different re religion. So I guess that's fine then. Yeah, I'll... I think I want the... The lifestyle perk. Because I think eventually we are going to want merit meritocracy. And the others, we don't care too much. I mean, dep demand payment for hooks isn't horrible, but I like meritocracy. And what was that? Declared war? Okay, he just declared war. That's fine. So, let's get to the next. Ah, it's the presentation. Behave yourself in there. Let's see how that went. Flawless! Everything about your child's presentation went very well. Even above your expectations, your vassals were very impre were impressed by your new progeny and even more impressed by your qualities as a sire. This will reflect well on you for some time. Excellent. Flawless presentation. Get some opinion and you need to get married. That's internal. That's internal. Uh, that's internal. Oh, you... We need to sire a woman. <laughs> because we don't have any good alliances to... To do. Is that... Internal, internal, right? Yeah, internal, internal. Yeah, okay. So... Matrilineal? No. Still no. Okay. Um, well, we have enough to <laughs> sire another one. Find me an excellent woman. She can be a merch warrior. A merchant. Let's find a merchant woman. Uh, not great. Not great. Hmm. Don't have very... I guess... I guess you can have the honor of being the merchant woman of choice. Or was it just because that hadn't happened yet? Maybe he was entirely isolated. It's that guy. He's not married. No. Just need to make sure. Okay, we'll, we'll find someone to marry off with soon enough. And who are they fighting? Oh, Latinum. So, Camilla is doing stuff. Well, actually... Oh, it's this little thing, but uh, but uh, Camilla is, uh, is an ally. Right. So, this guy isn't doing too well. Oh, well, wait. We are not faithful yet. Hmm. Are they trying to take... Yeah, they are trying to take... Um, Cran, but... It doesn't seem to be... Going too well. Oh, and that's... That's not gonna end well for you, I think. Okay, because... If we can just get to... Faithful, how long would that be? We need 250, so... A while? I guess. Well, we uh, we have a child to sire. The latest work of my acquaintance, Baron Sab Saber, has become all the rage at court of late. The piece deals with memory and what we what we leave behind, and Saber has publicly de dedicated it to uh, to me, Count Philippopolis. What man does not hope to rest when tired? His work surrounding the happy retired. This rare enough enough for men to admit that their deeds leave those left a split after split. So far, I've kept my thoughts to myself, but the boss has grown too dramatic to ignore for much longer. Um, either way, we'll gain 
piety or prestige, or we can guarantee piety. Um, kind of really want piety right now, so let's grab that. And I wonder, does that that does count toward it? Good. I thought maybe just the generation counted toward it, but that's not true. How are buildings going? We're done with building, so let's upgrade that. And how about you? We do have blood tax, which is great. Actually, how... Still need quite a bit more control, but we're about halfway there. Well, we are halfway there. A little bit more than halfway there. Is there anything else we want here? You don't want to spend a lot of money. We can rebuild it, make it better, but I don't want to spend a lot of money. No, okay. We'll just leave that as is for now. Actually, yeah, okay. You are allied to Montana, so if we were to try to take... Because I know I have a claim. But, yeah, they would bring in Lord Montano. So, that's not going to work out. And exactly how much do we need when we take? 350. Yeah, that's okay. Let's see. We'll, we are... 160 away. 160 would put us at 748. So about exactly... No, wait. Was it 100... Wait. 150? No, 350. So we would be 100 short after this. Well, we are gonna embrace her anyway. And... She will figure it out by herself. Oh, she got a face mask. How... How badass of her. Well, she is disfigured, but I mean, that's normal. The prowess isn't bad. How is our champions right now, actually? Should be... Okay, because some of our children were pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty good. And we have backups at 14. So that's not bad. I mean, it's not good compared to what we've had in other other uh, campaigns, but it's not bad. Your new child has taken her first tentative steps into the night. Now experience, blah, blah, blah. We know this. She let her, let her learn. She'll get stats this way. Well, it's likely that she'll get stats this way. And um, it's just there are chances that we become uh, rivals and stuff because they're free willed. Uh, she's fascinated by the vast history of the canine race, the clans, the myths, the rumors, everything she can learn about, really. She might actually have insight into some matters you didn't you didn't thought about for a long while now. Perhaps you could work together. Oh. Ooh. One learning lifestyle. Hmm. Do we need her to... No, she would still not be good enough to be a uh, chaplain. So, I'm going to grab the lifestyle perk. This is great. We're getting a bunch of lifestyle perks. So, we can get a court physician cheaper. We don't need that. Learning language isn't bad. But I don't think we have much use for it right now. Culture of fascination progress. I would think I need to be the cultural head, wouldn't I? Um... Or do a divergence. Because... Let's see. Is this the fascin... No, that's the same. Is our fascination over here? Where's the fascination? There it is. That's the... Right? The culture currently being... Exposed as an innovation boosting... Okay, so that's... This is the fascination. Yeah. So, I think you have to be... The cultural head. Uh, these aren't that good. I mean, they get better. I know that, but I don't think these are too good. Um, I mean, some of these, like, Mother Piety would be good if we had a lot of stuff, but I don't think we're going to go very far in these. Oh, diplomatic range isn't bad. But, once again, we're not going to go far. 
Actually, let's go with pedag uh, pedagogy. Because um, this might come in handy more than the... Uh, actually, well, plus five is nothing. And if we get another one, different culture opinion isn't bad. Because there's a lot of cultures running around. And culture, uh, cultural acceptance is pretty good too. So let's grab that. And we're gonna wait to marry her away. Oh, dang. Do we have any stress relievers? I don't want to take a vow of, of that. Can learn Italian, but yeah, okay. I want that. So, flagellant wouldn't actually be like very off from us because we are very, very religious. And uh, I mean, this, this works off stress and stuff, but we could just get athletic, which is just positive and we lose stress and we can just go ride a little now and then. So we're going to go for that. If we get flag uh, flagellant next time, we're going to go for that. But this is just a positive trait for losing stress. So notify me, go ride whenever you can. Tempted by the heavens. Uh, no, I am what I am. I think we can invade now, actually. <laughs> Stress coping, final, uh, friendly competition. It's sometimes hard to find the motivation to remain consistent when exer exercising myself. Exercising by myself. I could try to find myself a partner who would not only motivate me on, on bad days, but also be someone that I can compare myself to when tracking my own progress. What kind of companion would suit me most? Someone I can look up to? Someone to keep my, me on my toes? Or perhaps someone I know should never aspire to be? Someone I know I should never aspire to be. Uh, we can get Alexandra Artemis... Who the hell is that? My Hetaria. Pretty good. Pretty strong. Um, and you are... Oh! You're the lady we married him off to. Awesome. So. Yeah, I don't mind her having athletics because she is one of my champions. So. Let's see. Go. Go and, and uh, behave yourself. And. Uh, one of your vassals has been smitten by your child's flawless presentation and is now asking for some private time with my... Excuse me? Obviously it would be an easy way for you to get her in your debt, but your progeny might not appreciate being used as some sort of gift. Uh, no, absolutely not. And by the way, I'm gonna keep you open like that, because we are gonna find a spouse. Who are you? Uh, a bit far away. Oh, you're absolute garbage. Is this... Is this the best I can expect? Oh, God. These are uh, terrible. I, j I just want someone with champions. Like, is there no count? At least? Oh. Okay. That's unfortunate. Okay, we'll keep them in our back pockets for now. Um, we might just be able to... ...take this. They're inferior, they don't have allies. See how many... They have... Oh, how do they have 14 champions? Aren't you as a duke? Yeah. But they are defending against someone. They... No, they only have seven champions. Why do they have 14 here? That seems wrong. Uh, but we have 13. Oh. Oh, you're invading... No, you're defending against. 
but you seem to be doing really well. This is the second time someone stronger than you invades you and you just beat them off. Okay, that sounds... That was a poor, poor choice of words. Uh, you fight them back. Hmm. Do we... Do we attack them? I think we're gonna let this... This uh, play out a little bit. Because I would like for them to... Well, not only lose a bunch of money and like control of their... Of their county so they have worse income and all that good stuff. So I think we'll just let this pass a little bit. Good. And... Right, we have much better better people for this now as well. Um, put our son there. Um, what, what were other children's good stuff? You're a better marshal. He's not great, but he's better. And did she have good stewardship? She did. So let's put our daughter there. We have anyone? Yes. But I mean, our yeah, our vassals. There's no way for them to actually rise up against us. Like our powerful vassal, uh, twenty-seven levies and no champions, and fifty-five levies and no champions. So it really doesn't matter. So let's put you there because you are slightly better. And yeah, she is still our best, best one. That is fine. So, we'll keep an eye on this. Oh, there you go. There's a... A fight. Did they win? No, they lost. Yeah, but they only have seven champions. It says right there. They're being raided. They're still having that fight. So, is it time? Soon. Soon! So, yeah, they they got slaughtered <laughs> because Montana co came in and fixed that. Oh, damn, you're making a lot of money from all of a sudden. Damn. I don't want you to make money. Oh well. Um, is there anything we need to do right now? Do we have any fun... Fun decisions? No. We're gonna save... Because we need 350 to invade Moesia. Then we're gonna save up for more children. We can petition our liege, but I don't think we're gonna do that. And we still don't have any good... Oh, actually. He's good. Yes. Marry that guy. Good. Excellent. That did lose us our steward, but it gained us a strong ally. That is so good. Okay, let's have a look at you. And... Is it just me or does this guy look a little bit like John Cleese? At least like, at least in this portrait. It kind of looks like if John Cleese had a burn injury and a Wolverine scratched up his face. Which you'd think sounds specific, but I think it's a pretty good description. Oh, and wait, isn't that? Oh, it's, uh... right, <laughs> it's the liege of our son and yeah okay no it's the vassal of our son okay so i think we're gonna end the episode here next episode we're gonna invade moesia and uh, probably make some more children because we need more alliances but for now we have and we have actually quite the forest with all of our alliances it's gonna cost a lot of prestige but worth it because i think we're we might become a duke next episode. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!